we need to normalize the narrative and conversation around failure. Hi guys. So today I'm actually recording from home because I wanted to be in a comfortable environment and I'm also doing this thing of trying to let go a bit more of perfection and I feel that home is a comfortable environment for me in which I can just be comfortable and and you know be myself in a relaxed and, and safe environment anyway so today I want to talk about failure and <laughs> I laugh because I realize that it's not a it's not a sexy topic first of all. <laughs> Most people want to talk about success. Most people want to talk about what does it take to be successful? What strategies to implement to be successful? How do successful companies reach the level that they're at? But I I honestly find it interesting and I think that we're not having enough conversations about failure i mean are we having the conversations that communicate that failure is actually a part of success and it's part of the success journey are we applauding people and saying you know well done you've got your first failure under the belt yay you know as long as you're failing forward you're actually succeeding i mean are we having those conversations are we are we having the conversations that if you want to become a public speaker for example you haven't even begun yet until you've had an epic fail in front of a crowded room are we having those conversations are we having the conversations that say that you're going to receive rejection letters before you receive an acceptance letter are we having those conversations because i think we we glorify success so much we put it up on such a big shiny pedestal that I just wonder what effect then does failure have upon us in terms of our businesses our careers our marriages our friendships our relationships because we haven't actually normalized conversations around failure and perhaps it's because of social media perhaps it's because of the life in which we live but i mean it's interesting that we blame social media but we control social media social media it's just it's a device we control social media we control the content that we put out there we dictate to the algorithm what we want to see when we comment like and share perfection we are communicating that that's what we want to see and as a result we see more perfection on our timelines and the same holds true for traditional media as well you know and it's just interesting to me and i mean look i'm even speaking to myself when i say this i mean one of my businesses pnh boutique um over the years it's garnered media retention you know so we've done a lot of like media interviews and things like that and when you do these interviews they ask you about the highlight reel of your business so i'll say you know we've got seven retail stores including an online store etc but why have i never said that in that time over the years yes we've got seven retail stores but we've also had to close down stores i think we've closed down at least three stores for different reasons 
wrong location, wrong timing, change of strategy, whatever the case may be, but they've closed down. Are we having the conversations actually to say that you can close down stores and still be successful? Are we, are we having those conversations? Are we asking entrepreneurs, corporate leaders, influential people, where have they failed along their journey? And what has that failure taught them about success and even about themselves? Are we asking those conversations because I honestly feel as though we need to normalize the narrative and conversation around failure. We need to be able to embrace and make it normal to be able to say, you go bed, I'm going through the most. Or I have failed at something and I've decided to redirect can we start posting about our worst day in business? Can we start posting about how a demotion has affected us, but yet we were still able to move forward in our career? Can we start posting about the worst day in the office and just be able to honestly say, yo, guys, I've had a bad day. Because, you know, the truth is there's certain lessons that we can only get through experience. Of course, there's certain things that you can avoid um, and certain lessons you can avoid um, experiencing yourself through reading books, mentorship, podcasts, etc. But they're actual things that are meant for us to go through. If I look at my business, for example, my biggest lessons that I have learned in business have come through the hard times. They've come through when I have gone through the most. It hasn't come through the happy times and when things were plain sailing, no. My biggest lessons have come when I have been literally at the most challenging and rock bottom times of my business. And that's where the lessons come from, when we fail and continue to fail forward. And I just feel that there's certain things where they will keep coming back into our lives over and over and over again until we get the lesson, until we actually go through it and get the lesson. Why is it that we cannot then carry that as a badge of honor? To say, you, I've been through the most. I've just come out of a really challenging time. And you know what? I've triumphed. I've, 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 I've overcome it. I'm, I've come through on the other side. Why can't we applaud that? Why can't we normalize applauding that to say, geez, thank you so much for sharing that and, and well done for coming through on the other side, as opposed to only applauding the highlight reel and the accolades. I honestly think that perhaps our businesses, our lives, our relationships, our mental health, our general well-being would honestly be better off if our conversations with other people and ourselves around failure is honestly changed and normalized. And I think also we will be able to relate to ourselves better about the failures that we've gone through in our lives if we honestly just speak out about it and we just normalize it. 
because I really and truly believe that failure is a part of success. It's a part of the success journey. And as long as you are failing forward, you are in actual fact succeeding. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm making sense. <laughs> but perhaps to the one person that I've made sense to, yeah, comment below. Tell me what you think about it. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.